Good evening. Uh, we are Inner Groove. My name is Denise. This is Tom. And welcome to Fire Escape Sessions, WPAA.TV. We're going to jump right in. We've got some new songs for you tonight. We have some news that was even though um, it's going to be um, one of the songs on um, an album that we're working on because that's what we musicians do when we can't play live. <laughs> we go into the studios and we create. So um, we're happy to have been asked to be part of the Fire Escape sessions. Um, thank you very much to WPAA and um, to Frank Vitelli, of course. Um, so we're, we're happy to be sharing these songs. I think every, almost everything that we're doing tonight, I think, is the first time that we've been playing it anywhere. This one is called I Notice You. It's a very specific song. It's become kind of a, a quirky song in my mind, but I really, really like it because it's personal to me. I know you check on me before you go. You lock the door to keep me safe. When I'm afraid to stay alone at home Although you're tired, you come on over, babe Make a fire to keep us warm Sometimes amazing how we weather every storm I know it's you I see I don't always say, but I know what you do Oh, 
We've been kind of weathering, I think, the times as everybody else has, and um, and I think it's been bringing out some really um, amazing music from musicians who, at first, I think, just didn't know what to do with themselves, <laughs> and then said, "Oh, that's right, I'm a musician. I'm I'm going to put it in a song." So, um, so I think that's uh, that's what I did with this next piece, um, and I did. I did play it out once um, in May, right after I, I wrote it, and I did sit on it a while because I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but I think it reflects the times. There are parts of it that are bleak, but it definitely was, you know, how I was feeling when I wrote it, And I, but I also think that it has some hope, and I'm kind of waiting for the thing that I mentioned in the song to, to happen eventually. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the faith that it, that it will. This so. um. This came about because of a conversation that I was having with several people, and we were talking about how a sign was very washed out, and somebody said, it's very beige on beige, and it stuck, and, and the challenge got thrown down um, for me to write a song about it. So this is, this is what came out. Seems the Sunday drivers finally went home in retreat without desire to stop and grab a bite to eat. For authority did say, This is not the time to meet, this is not the time to play. Turn the page. 
Beige. Dedicate that always to my crew at work, because those are the people who threw me the phrase. <laughs> so I'm indebted. I have been um, kind of exploring. Uh, I'm originally from the West Coast, and um, I've been kind of thinking back and, and writing um, about memories and places lately. Um, out there, and it's so funny. You say, you know, I'll go out and visit. I'll I'll get to it. Maybe I'll go next spring. Maybe I'll go next fall. And now that I can't go, <laughs> I want to go more than ever and uh, see my people out there, my my family, my tribe. So this is like the next best thing I can do. And and I'm gonna say this song is um, the name of it is Lincoln City. People think it's Nebraska. It's not. It's it's a it's a coastline town um, in Oregon. And it's one of my favorite places to be, and it is one of my um, best friend's places to be. And so when I was writing it, I sort of, you know, asked her for her thoughts on it. And she, you know, long distance, we, she sent them to me, and I sent her the words, and I said, how do you feel when you read this? And she, you know, she said, you nailed it. So <laughs> that's what I wanted to hear. So this is, um, this is Lincoln City. And I'm, I'm writing a lot with... Um, people in mind um, and so I feel like every song I say well this one's for so-and-so this one's for so-and-so this one is for Kimmy
Thank you. So I think this is the only one on my list that uh, isn't a brand new song. This is actually the title track from our last album called Some Days. Um, I think it's it started as a very frustrated song. And um, while the rhyme was flowing, had a curse word in it that I had to rewrite out. So um, I... Uh, I made it acceptable <laughs> to sing in public places. And um, I think it was just reflecting of, um, you know, some days we've, we've got good days and some days we've got bad days and pretty mysterious balance, I think. Morning email. Bad news again, bills to pay, but no money to send. It's not quite how I picture it would be. It's not exactly how I saw me. What to say when your heart's stone? What to do when you feel all alone? I know I'm lucky in so many ways, but sometimes there are some. Some days you want to quit. Some days you just don't give it a thought. Some Thank you. 
you. This was a long time in the making, this song. It's about my grandfather, my dad's side, who wrote poetry and wrote songs. And I think when I was young, I started writing poetry, and he was the first person that kind of showed me that you could take poetry and put it to music, and your poetry became lyrics, which, you know, when you're a kid is like, you know, it's mind blowing. <laughs> and that was something every summer I would go out west and spend the summer out there with my dad and, and obviously saw my grandfather. And this was sort of our music was our thing um, that we connected with once a year. Um, and uh, I just loved his perseverance with, um, with writing and with encouraging me. And, um, and my only regret is that I, I wrote this long after he was gone. So, cause I think, I think he would have dug it. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Thank you, WPAA and Frank Fratelli for having us.